Team Pokey Colors family, welcome to the channel. How you doing today? Hopefully you are having a wonderful day. Uh, here's here's a couple code cards to start off this video. If you guys like code cards, be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button, of course. But today, guys, uh, we're going to be talking about the recent news that has broken out. And I was going to make a video about this type of topic anyways, and it just so happens that uh, a new Logan Paul news story has broken through. So we're going to talk about that as well as how that ties into, I guess, the current state of the market from what I've seen uh, over the past few months. So uh, stick around, press a like, smash subscribe. Let's get right into it. So for those of you who do not know, this is pretty new. This was just yesterday as of recording. Logan Paul uh, featured a necklace with a PSA 10 Pikachu Illustrator card, which is believed to be one of the rarest cards ever. I mean, there's only, I think, confirmed 20 in existence, and there's only one PSA 10, which he bought from, um, I think it was the King Charizard, uh, Gary, who sold it to him. So he graded it himself from what I heard. And if you guys want more information on that, I will link an article that was uh, really good at explaining, you know, why this is a big deal and whatnot down in the description. So yeah, Logan Paul features a $6 million PSA 10 card to his WrestleMania uh, entrance. And the last big news similar to that was when he wore his first edition uh, Charizard PSA 10 to his Floyd Mayweather fight. So we're gonna take a look. What does this mean, guys? What do you think? Leave a comment. Does this mean the market's gonna boom now? Is it gonna be another 2020 repeat? And ah. Uh, I don't know, you guys can leave a comment, but I'm gonna give my take. I don't really think anything is gonna happen like 2020 ever in our in our lifetimes, unless there's some catastrophic like, you know, lockdown situation or just, you know, something ridiculous like that that puts people in their homes again. And that leads into the main topic of today's video. Uh, beware of eBay. If you have Pokemon cards that you wanna sell, don't go to eBay. I know it's convenient, I know it's easy. And everybody can see him, but there's a problem with that. We are living in the time now with Logan Paul bringing so much attention to Pokemon that everybody and their grandmas knows that they have money and value in their Pokemon cards, whether they're graded, whether their conditions are trash, or you know if they're just like anything shiny related, like oh this is worth money, whether it's a dollar or a hundred dollars, that's up to their interpretation, but. You know, eBay, eBay is at the lowest point. I've seen it at a long time in terms of just card selling. Unless you're selling PSA 10s, 7s, 8s of high-end cards or something like you might see in the background, you're not really guaranteed to get market value on eBay anymore. Um, just for example, I tried to sell two, I tried to sell two Dark Artillery Holographics on eBay uh, a few, few weeks ago. And I actually also threw in this uh, duplicate holographic Spiritomb. This was a lot that I tried to sell on eBay. Uh, TCG player value, I'll throw up on screen. Um, it didn't even sell. Nobody bid on it for seven days. And these are, you know, EX Team Rocket Returns. Like these hollows are not the, they're not very common. You know, especially to get two in one, uh, you know, two in one lot. You know, if it was like, say, like an EX from this set, it would be a lot different. But, you know, I was expecting at least for these two hollows to just kind of, you know, get some traction, but nobody even bid on them. And they're decently, con like, they're decent conditions. So uh, if you're trying to sell old school, middle school, <laughs> middle school, if you're trying to sell old school, vintage, or modern Pokemon cards, don't go to eBay. Um, it's just, it's just a big it's just, it's just a big mess right now. Like you, you're not gonna get anything close to what your value is. Um, and just for reference, like, you know, I had, had sold a lot with, it was the shiny Charmander, shiny Charmeleon from Hidden Fates, plus a few extra shinies from Hidden Fates. And that lot only sold for 30 bucks. Whereas if you go to the oldest, you know, sold listing, you know, sort down the left side, uh, you could see people buying Charmander and Charmeleon, just those two for 50, 40 bucks. So I don't know what happens. You know, I, I think people are just undercutting and people are just the king of low balls right now on eBay. So if you have cards that you wanna sell, um, the best thing I could do to suggest like to sell them and get a reasonable price or at least market value is make a TCG player account, 
put them up for sale in there, you might have a better shot because what people now are doing from what I've seen is, you know, they're utilizing eBay to get the lowest possible, cheapest card value. Like, you know, they're gonna try to lowball everything and try to get cards for as cheap as possible so that they can relist it on their own eBay and flip it for a profit or try to sell for profit because they know there's money in the hobby. And that's the problem nowadays, you know? People are, if you're gonna try to make money with Pokemon, like if you wanna buy, say, a collection of just, you know, vintage hollows, like, you're gonna have to offer at least market value, if not an arm and a leg, because everybody thinks they know that their cards are worth money now. Whereas before, you could go to garage sales and yard sales, flea markets, and they could be like, oh, I'll sell you this fossil Dragonite for 50 cents, and then you could grade it, or you know, get a PSA 6 at the minimum, sell it for 50 bucks. That's pretty good returns, I'd say. But now, you know, they see like, okay, I have Pokemon cards and I know they're worth money thanks to uh, just all the attention that it's gotten, thanks to Logan Paul and all these other, you know, influencers. And it's, it's really just a big collection of everybody. Everybody that puts, you know, the word out there, like market videos, even myself, I'll, I'm not gonna take, you know, I'm not gonna blame everybody else. I mean, you know, on this channel, we've had videos of, you know, cheap Pokemon cards to invest in. And that, that, you know, I've made a statement about that in a previous video, but it's not so that you can buy it low to sell it high. It's so that you can buy it low so that you don't have to buy it high. And that's kind of the point that I made in that video. But nonetheless, I mean, we're living in a day and age now where people know what they have. And, or at least if they think they know, you're not going to, you're going to have to fight. You know what I mean? Like you, you could try to sell a whole binder for a hundred bucks on eBay you know, people are going to be like, oh, that binder's worth 400 bucks. You know, that was something I remember seeing back in the day, you know, back in like mid to late 2020, you could like get binders, collections on eBay for relatively cheap, uh, especially because, you know, people just didn't know what they had. You know, I remember buying a tin full of Pokemon cards and like it had like eight old school EXs. One of, one of them was this that actually graded an eight, which is pretty cool. Um, and, you know, I got that whole, you know, I got a bunch of old school EXs, like TCG player value at the time was over 300 bucks and I spent 60 bucks. Now, if I were to try to find that lot, you're going to have to pay at minimum market value, if not as close to that as possible, because people now know how to figure out what their cards are worth, regardless of conditions. So, you know, you could have somebody that has, you know, this card, Dark Octillery, beat, beat, it could be beat condition, like maybe PSA 2 minimum grading, you know, based on the condition, this one I don't think is a two, but you know, people that have a card like this that they think they know is worth more than what it actually is, you know, they're gonna not sell it to you because, oh, I know that they think they know, like, oh, you know, depending on what value I looked up online, this card sells for say 25 bucks or whatever the TCG player value is or whatever they find on eBay. And then they're not gonna let it go for that because they don't, most people don't understand, you know, conditions matter, especially with older cards. Um, as time goes on, I think people will start to understand that more, but right now, you know, we got grandmas with massive collections that are not willing to sell because they know that they're worth better money than what they originally thought they were worth back in the day. So that's kind of where I stand on the situation. Um, it's still pretty cool though, to see Logan Paul with that one of one PSA 10 card flexing. It does help out the hobby and bring more people into the market that may not know about necessarily like card conditions and how grading works and all that stuff so if one of you are not familiar and you want to stick around hit the subscribe button if you're from the low gang or whatever he calls his people now i don't i don't care come on over hang out we're gonna talk about pokemon we're gonna open stuff we're gonna reveal psa cards you know all that kinds of good stuff um but hopefully um you know, hopefully this will help the market in terms of bringing more value into cards that should have more value or, you know, just kind of helping, helping people see that you can't really lowball anymore. And hopefully the base price of cards like these will go up so that, you know, you, if you do have these cards that you want to sell, you can at least get market value for them because, you know, I've tried to sell these on eBay, uh, I think twice and nobody's bid on them. Nobody's offered anything for them. So uh, what I'm going to do with these types of cards that I have duplicates of and that I want to sell or, you know, figure out to do giveaways or some, something like that, um, definitely go link in the description. Check out my WhatNot account. That's where I'm going to be doing live streams where 
I might be uh, most likely selling off some of these PSA cards I just graded. So if you have any interest in any of these here, especially this one, this one's a nice, nice card, PSA 10. Mega Charizard EX, and then we got the Mega Eternit or Eternatus V Max Rainbow PSA 10, or you know maybe one of these big dogs. I doubt it, but um, I definitely want to keep some, but I definitely want to sell some. So if you want to stick around and hang out with the Team Poke Colors family, be sure to hit the follow button on whatnot because when I'm approved to sell on there, I'm gonna be doing live streams, and I have a bunch of hollows like this that I have no use for because you know I just have duplicates. So. If you're interested in cards like that or spicy cards that you probably would have to pay a fortune for on eBay, be sure to check out my whatnot linked in the below. Uh, but that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Please smash like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments, please, what you guys think about uh, what this means for the market. I think that's, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, like I said, let me know in the comments. Smash like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.